So in this video, I'll show you how we made these tombstones for our spooky DIY graveyard. Enjoy. I went and picked up a full sheet of this pink foam insulation to make our tombstones out of. Big shout out to Build Dad Build who gave me the idea. Um, I've got the one inch thick sheet and it cut really well with a box cutter. I used my CNC to cut designs into the pink foam. We also hand painted some and there's several different ways you can inlay a design. But I have access to a CNC and so I put the design together and I flipped it around upside down so I could carve higher up on the foam board. And so here I am putting the foam board inside my CNC. I was just putting a dumbbell on it to hold it in place. Uh, since the foam cut so easily, there's not a lot of resistance, but I ended up going to the clamps just so I could make sure that I was always putting it in the same location and I wasn't having to recenter my zero every time. The CNC cut the foam really well. I did start off with a V-carved bit, but what was happening is my designs were so fine, I realized I wouldn't be able to paint them. So I switched to a 1 8 ball nose bit, and then I just set my feeds and speeds where I'd make two passes and it was done. For additional detail, I used a handsaw to cut some different curves or angles. That way the tombstones weren't just perfectly square. And then another tip I picked up from Nick's video was to use a sheetrock scraper to add some texture around the sides, and that way it really broke up the squareness of the boards and made them look like weathered tombstones. Uh, additionally, any pieces I cut off, I ended up adding back onto the board to add a third dimension to the um, tombstones, and I'll show you that later on in the video. Uh, the way I painted these was just with a rattle can black uh, textured spray paint. I did two coats of that, then I came over with one coat of the gray, and then my wife came in and filled in all the details. Something that was a happy accident was I used Rust-Oleum Hammer spray paint for the black, and something in that spray paint ended up adding these um, rough patches it like ate away the foam but it really added a weathered element we installed them in the ground using some coat hangers that we cut in half just shoved them straight into the dirt and then put the tombstones in since making this video i have gone out and put some dowel rods in the back uh, and taped them to the back of the tombstone just the wind seems to really want to catch the boards and bend them over uh, you can see here and i'll show you later i did make some mistakes but uh, i'm so happy with how they turned out as you can see we made a joke about the big houses being built on the street um i just thought that was funny we live in a smaller house uh, and then also the car warranty uh, repair calls um i did this uh cindy lopper one ghouls just want to have fun and uh also we've got some bones scattered around and we made a fence with some old fence boards here's what i was talking about i did have some boards that the carves didn't work out and so i flipped them over and used the other side but i think it came out really great and here's our final product at night we added these flashing orange led solar powered lights for an extra touch scattered some bones around the bone yard and we did pick a part of the yard where grass doesn't really grow so i won't have to worry about cutting it added in some skeleton flamingos and here's our spooky graveyard for halloween I am going to do a few of these shorter videos to get used to the software, and I'm going to add a link to Nick's video that really helped me get through this. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great holiday, everybody.